Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Napoli, and today we're going to talk about how to get rid of painful nighttime muscle cramps and why you shouldn't ignore them because they could be actually a sign of a much bigger health problem. Welcome to today's Napoli Nutrition Update. One of the most common complaints I hear in my office are people being jolted out of bed by painful nighttime muscle cramps. Most commonly, it's in the, the calf or the thigh muscle. Sometimes it'll be hands or feet. In that case, it's called carpal pedal spasms. There's a couple of potential causes of that. Dehydration is one. Um, not, uh, usually, that's only seen in uh, athletes who are not hydrating properly or elderly people. Calcium or potassium deficiency can also do it. Uh, however, those are not extremely common uh, because we tend to have decent intake of those in our diet. And they'll usually only happen in, in athletes when they're sweating profusely and losing electrolytes. The most common cause is magnesium deficiency. 80% of all Americans are not getting the magnesium that we need. <clears throat> magnesium is needed for about 300 different chemical reactions in the body. Um, most importantly in this context, it's needed to allow muscles to relax, to shut off. When a muscle contracts, the polarity of the muscle changes, when the body wants to relax the muscle, polarity changes back, magnesium floods in and relaxes that muscle. So low magnesium is going to be associated with symptoms such as muscle twitches, spasms, uh, cramping, palpitations. Here's where we get into some more important aspects of this. As if the pain at night isn't enough, magnesium is needed to keep the heart rate, rhythm, and strength of contraction healthy and normal. Without it, we can start to develop heart problems. Um, there's just, I've seen studies that show that 80% of all sudden death heart attacks are related to low magnesium levels. Basically, it's a heart cramp. You can develop an arrhythmia, which is a regular heartbeat. The heart contracts, can't relax, and you drop. All right, that's the classic, uh, you hear a description of a guy went in, had a clean bill of health, one day, next day, dropped in. Um, so this is something not to be ignored. The great thing is it's easy to fix. In my, in my office, I recommend three to 400 milligrams of, of a high quality chelated magnesium. And I can't tell you, I don't think I've ever seen it fail to get rid of those nighttime leg cramps. Um, it's, the great thing is it also increases bone density because the matrix of the bone is made up of magnesium. All right, and, uh, and it's basically the framework that the calcium molecules have to plug into. So if your magnesium level is low, bone density is also going to be low. So the cramping, while it's the most painful, and it's, and it's usually what makes people bring up the matter to me, it's indicative of potentially other more serious problems. So don't skip it. Start taking it. If there, there's one potential problem, some people, about one in a hundred, are sensitive to... Um, if they take 400 milligrams of magnesium all at one time, the, what the reaction is you'll get loose stool. Um, we don't want that. So if that happens, discontinue it and go to a, a lower dose. I'll usually swap it out for my patients. We'll swap off, do like 150 milligrams twice a day, and that usually takes care of it. But again, that's only in about, maybe about uh, one out of 100 patients. More importantly, if you're pregnant or if you have kidney disease, check with your doctor first before taking any of this. All right? So until next time, God bless. Be well.